Before we dive in, it's important to make one thing clear. This information is provided strictly for educational and awareness purposes only. We want you to be informed, not misled. Our goal is to shine a light on a real and pressing security risk, so you can take steps to better protect your personal data and privacy in today's digital world. This is absolutely not a guide for illegal activity. Attempting to use these methods without proper authorization is a crime, and it can lead to severe legal consequences, including fines and even jail time. Our intention is to help you understand how vulnerabilities work so you can recognize and defend against them, not to encourage anyone to exploit these weaknesses. Security researchers and ethical hackers dedicate their careers to studying these flaws, working tirelessly to make networks and systems safer for everyone. By learning about these risks, you'll be empowered to ask the right questions and demand stronger security measures from your service providers and technology companies. We want to be absolutely clear. We strongly condemn any misuse or abuse of this knowledge. Using it for harm is never acceptable. Think of this like learning how a lock can be picked, not so you can break into someone else's home, but so you can understand how to better secure your own. Knowledge is a tool and how you use it matters. The digital world is full of evolving threats, and understanding how these attacks work is your very first line of defense. Awareness is the foundation of security. Cybersecurity is a constantly changing field. New threats emerge every day, so staying informed and up-to-date is absolutely crucial for your safety. In this video, we'll be focusing on a specific and often overlooked threat that targets mobile phone networks, affecting millions of users worldwide. Don't worry if you're not a tech expert. We'll break down the technical concepts into simple, easy-to-understand language. There are no hacking tutorials here, just clear explanations. Please remember to use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. The right thing to do is always to protect, not to harm. Our mission at Cyber World YT is to empower you with the information and tools you need to be safer online and to help you make smarter choices every day. The more you know, the stronger your defenses become. Knowledge is your best shield against cyber threats. So let's get started and take your digital safety seriously, because protecting yourself online has never been more important. Every time you make a call, send a text, or use mobile data, your phone is relying on a hidden system working quietly in the background. This system is called SS7, and most people have never even heard of it, even though it's essential to how our phones work every single day. SS7 is the global network that allows mobile carriers all over the world to communicate with each other. It's what makes it possible for your phone to work almost anywhere, whether you're at home or traveling abroad, seamlessly connecting you to friends, family, and businesses. Think of SS7 as a digital highway that links phone companies together. It doesn't just handle calls and texts. It also manages billing, number translation, and roaming, making sure your phone knows where you are and how to connect you. SS7 was created back in the 1970s, at a time when the telecommunications world was much smaller and built on trust. Security wasn't a major concern because only a handful of big, trusted telecom companies were supposed to use it. Since only these large, established companies had access, strong protections and security measures weren't really included in the original design. The system was never meant to be exposed to outsiders. But today, that trust-based approach has become a serious problem. Hackers and cyber criminals have discovered ways to break into SS7, exploiting its weaknesses to gain unauthorized access. Once inside, they can use SS7's powerful features for malicious purposes, like intercepting calls and texts, tracking locations, or even stealing sensitive information. This means a system that was designed to be a vital part of our communications can now be turned into a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. Understanding the weaknesses of SS7 is crucial for understanding how attackers can target phones and networks all over the world, putting millions of users at risk. Despite its importance, SS7 is now seen as a critical but outdated backbone of our mobile world. Still in use but increasingly vulnerable, the very system that keeps us all connected can also expose us to new dangers. Let's take a closer look at how this happens and what it means for your security. SS7 works by sending special commands between networks, like a secret language for phones. When you call or text, 
SS7 finds the recipient and sets up the connection in seconds. It also handles roaming, letting your phone work abroad by talking to foreign networks. SS7 can locate users, root calls, and forward messages, core functions for mobile networks. But this power is a double-edged sword. If someone gains access, they can send their own commands and control these functions. Hackers can redirect calls or messages all without the victim knowing. The system's efficiency and reach make it attractive to attackers. SS7's language is powerful, but in the wrong hands, it's dangerous. The same commands that keep us connected can be used to spy or steal. That's why understanding SS7's role is so important. Next, let's see how attackers exploit this system. SS7's biggest flaw, it trusts anyone who gets inside. There's little authentication. If you're on the network, you're treated as a trusted partner. Hackers can buy or steal access, often through weakly regulated telecoms. Once connected, they can send malicious commands from anywhere in the world. The network rarely blocks these messages, making attacks hard to detect. A hacker can impersonate a legitimate network and redirect calls or texts to themselves. The victim's phone acts normal, they have no idea their data is being intercepted. This isn't just hacking a phone, it's manipulating the network itself. Hackers don't break encryption, they trick the system into handing over unencrypted data. The attack is subtle, powerful, and often invisible. Billions of SS7 messages flow daily, hiding malicious ones in plain sight. It's a global vulnerability that affects us all. Let's break down exactly how an SS7 attack happens. This is for awareness and education, so you can understand the risks and recognize the signs. The first step is gaining access to the SS7 network. This is often the most challenging part, as SS7 is a private network used by telecom companies. However, determined hackers can sometimes buy access on the dark web or exploit poorly secured telecom systems to get in. Once inside, the attacker chooses a target. All they need is a phone number. No passwords, no physical access, just the number you use every day. Using specialized SS7 commands, the hacker can uncover the victim's SIM card identity and pinpoint their location anywhere in the world, all without alerting the target. This tracking is completely silent. The victim continues using their phone, totally unaware that someone is watching their every move. Next, the hacker sends a special update command, tricking the telecom network into believing the victim's phone is now connected to the hacker's own system. This redirection is seamless and invisible. As a result, all incoming calls and text messages meant for the victim are secretly routed to the hacker first before being passed on. The attacker can now eavesdrop on private calls, read every SMS, and even intercept sensitive codes, like those used for two-factor authentication or banking. Sometimes to avoid suspicion, the hacker forwards intercepted messages to the real victim after reading them, making the attack almost impossible to detect. This method allows hackers to spy, steal personal data, and bypass even the most advanced security measures, putting your privacy and accounts at serious risk. SS7 attacks are a powerful tool for surveillance, identity theft, and large-scale fraud, often used by cybercriminals and even state actors. Meanwhile, the victim's phone works perfectly. No errors, no warnings, and no indication that anything is wrong. That's exactly what makes SS7 attacks so dangerous. They're invisible, effective, and can happen to anyone, anywhere, at any time. SS7 attacks aren't just theory, they've caused real damage. In Germany, 2017, criminals used SS7 to bypass bank SMS codes and steal money. After stealing login details, they redirected SMS codes to their own phones, completing fraudulent transfers. Another case. US Congressman Ted Lieu allowed researchers to hack his phone using only his number. They intercepted his calls and texts, proving anyone could be targeted. These incidents woke up lawmakers and the public to the threat. SS7 flaws have enabled both financial crime and government surveillance. The problem is global. Hundreds of companies must cooperate to fix it. While some protections exist, the core protocol remains vulnerable. Criminals and spies have exploited this trust at the heart of our phone system. SS7's weaknesses are real, and the stakes are high. Until the system is overhauled, the risk remains. That's why awareness is so important. The risks of SS7 attacks are serious. Hackers can eavesdrop on your calls, invading your privacy, 
They can read your SMS messages including sensitive info and security codes. Financial theft is a major threat. Intercepted codes let hackers access bank and email accounts. SS7 can also be used to track your location, putting journalists and activists at risk. Attackers can even block your calls and texts, cutting you off in emergencies. The combination of spying, theft, tracking, and disruption makes SS7 a critical security issue. It undermines trust in our mobile devices. The threat is invisible, but the consequences are real. That's why understanding and action are essential. You can't fix SS7, but you can protect yourself. Avoid SMS for two-factor authentication. Use authenticator apps instead. Use end-to-end -end encrypted messaging apps like Signal or WhatsApp for sensitive conversations. Even if intercepted, encrypted messages are unreadable to hackers. Consider a VPN to protect your internet data, though it won't stop SS7 attacks on calls or texts. Stay alert for unusual phone behavior, missed calls, missing texts, or strange account logins. Report issues to your provider and bank immediately. Combining these steps makes you a much harder target. Take control of your security. Don't wait for the system to catch up. Cybersecurity can be complex, but knowledge is your best defense. Understanding threats like SS7 helps you protect yourself and your loved ones. At CyberWorld YT, we break down tough topics to keep you safe online. Subscribe for more clear, practical security tips and updates. Share this video. When more people are aware, everyone is safer. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and stay tuned for more deep dives into cybersecurity. Together we can build a safer digital future.